Hello everyone and welcome to Grammar Level 1, Exercise 1. This is the first of many exercises to come. It's a little bit different. Today we won't necessarily be taking notes and learning new things. We'll be using the notes that we've created in the past. But a lot of the formatting is still the same. So let's begin today by putting the date, the word date, and then the month, the day, of the year at the top of the page. Next to that, put the word grammar with a colon, and then Level 1, Exercise 1. So the date, grammar, level one, exercise one. So the exercises are much faster than the notes. So watch the spacing here, but put down these three sentences for me, please. Number one, Tom ran up the stairs quickly. Number two, the boy sat quietly beside Sally. And number three, the kid shouted loudly over the class. Once again, Tom ran up the stairs quickly. Number two, the boy sat quietly beside Sally. And number three, the kid shouted loudly over the class. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at level one of these sentences. So Tom ran up the stairs quickly. The very first thing I need to do is see if there are anything, if, if any information is given away. So one thing I want you to focus on with the exercise today is that the word the is always an adjective. So I'm going to put a, d, j just beneath the word the. As a matter of fact, I might as well do that with every sentence. Number two, a, d, j. Number three, a, D, J, we got two of them here, and A, D, J. Okay, so the adjective, uh, the word the is always an adjective, and that's kind of a trick to remember. It's a free answer. All right, so with that one out of the way, let's look for other things. Another trick is that every sentence has to have a verb. Now that verb can be an action verb that is visible or a linking verb. So Tom ran up the stairs quickly. First, look for an action verb. Is there an action in the sentence? Yes, ran is a verb. Okay, Tom ran up the stairs quickly. So, I know that I also have to have a noun or a pronoun because every sentence has to be telling us about someone or something. So the, the someone we're talking about here is a noun, Tom. Okay, we also have another noun over here. This is a thing, there's stairs. All right, so we're left with two words here. In my notes, I have a cheat that says any word ending in L-Y is most likely a certain part of speech. What is it? Adverbs. Adverbs usually end in L-Y, and the way that I can check to make sure is that an adverb will modify quickly is describing how they ran. Ran as a verb, and an adverb modifies a verb modifies other things too, but it definitely modifies a verb. Okay, That just leaves up. If you remember um, the part of speech that shows the relationship between two different things, this is showing the relationship between how Tom ran and the stairs. I could also say down the stairs or near the stairs or around the stairs. Okay, So this is a preposition. All right, so we've done one together. Number two down here. I want you to go ahead and give this a shot. So somebody pause the video and try to fill out the last five words in this sentence. And go. Okay, so let's check what we have so far. Rather than just straight up give you the answers, what I want to do is I'll give you the different how many of the different parts of speech. So we have two nouns in this sentence. All right, we also have one adjective in this sentence. We also have one verb in this sentence. We also have one adverb in this sentence. And we have one preposition in this sentence. All right. Two nouns, one adjective, one verb, one adverb, one preposition. 
give you just about five seconds to make any changes here, and I'll go through the answers with you. All right, so here we go. The boy sat quietly beside Sally. First of all, I know sat's my verb. It's an action. I'm looking here. I see L-Y at the end of this word. L-Y is modifying this verb. That means this has to be an adverb. Okay, I need to know who did the sitting. That was the boy. This has got to be a noun. Sally would also be a noun. It's a proper noun, just like Tom was in sentence one. Beside is showing the relationship between the sitting and Sally. I could say near Sally, around Sally. Okay, that is going to be a preposition. Moving on to the last sentence. The kids shouted loudly over the class. We already have two of these words figured out. Go ahead and give it a five second shot here and I'm going to start filling in how many of each we have. I'm filling these in. You can check as you're going. Okay, in your notes, if you don't want to write out how many are each in any sentence, you don't, obviously you don't need to do that. Okay, all right, so let's give this a check. We should have two nouns, two adjectives, one verb, one adverb, and one preposition when we're all done here. We've got shouted. That's an easy verb to find. Oh, look, I got L-Y again, modifying how the shouting was done. That's got to be an adverb as well. Okay, class, I think, is going to be a noun. That's a thing. Kid is who we're talking about, so that's a noun. Person, place, or thing, and we're left here. I look over here and do process of elimination, but I know that it's showing the relationship between the shouting and the class, so that's going to be a preposition. All right. Just a couple things that we learned this, this lesson, and then we'll be done. Shortcuts. The first shortcut is find the verb. It's either going to be action or linking. But every sentence, I'm gonna erase this. But every sentence has one. All right, the next little trick that we learned the is always an adjective. The is always an adjective. Finally, start with what you know. All right, so your shortcuts are find the verb, action or linking. Every sentence has one, so find it. Second one is there is always or sorry, the second one is the, and I'll put this in quotes just so I can set that up, the is always an adjective. And the third one here, start with what you know. All right, those are three sentences all together that we've run through on level one and the rationale behind. I'll see you over at level one, exercise two.